It's funny, I really never crave cup noodles. I never really ate them, maybe just a few times. But this is the Nissin Cup Noodles Museum. Nissin was the company that popularized microwaving ramen. And this is their open to the public, it's free, um, place to visit. And I really have no idea what to expect. Sumimasen. Uh, this is there's nothing, no idea what to expect. So, I have no idea. Chicken, chicken ramen. Ooh, well that's cool. Ah. How about that? Suksuki Minrui. Wow, this is all different types of cup noodles that have been around. I wonder if they have that mystery meat. Actually, that's a literal description of it. I saw it in Tokyo a few years ago. It said mystery meat. And it was definitely missing. I never really eat this stuff because I've always considered it way too salty. And it is. But... There's got to be some unusual flavor that I want to try, and of course there are many, it's just... Ah, here. Salt off. It basically means less salt. So less salt from what? Generally these cups have 70-80% of your daily requirement of salt intake. But... So... There's are different types of uh, miso ramen and soy sauce ramen. So this is from Sapporo, Asahikawa, Hakodate, Sapporo again. And these are all in Hokkaido. Omi, so this is I think Gifu Prefecture, north of Kyoto by Lake Biwa. Hiyashi chuka. So is, they say Chinese style. It's called Chinese style noodles. Of course, the ramen comes from a city called Lanzhou in China. I went there once just to eat the ramen. It was probably the best I've ever had besides miso ramen, but those are very distinct flavors. The one in um, Lanzhou is beef. I feel like I'm just a color commentator right now. Oh, China. Hui guo rou bian. It refers to twice cooked pork. A dish from Sichuan, China. Tonkotsu, so this is a pork bone broth. Chuka soba, it's a Chinese style. Nisei chuka soba, actually. Nishin chuka soba, ramen, so Chinese style, thinner noodles. But, ochazuke, so this is generally made um, in a tea cup, kind of. So this is miso, I guess it's hashin. So this, this means eight, this means unusual. Uh, what am I pointing to? Hmm, it goes on, doesn't it? Drama theater? The drama is that people can eat this stuff regularly at any convenience store. This is the drama. <laughs> Let's see if they have sodium. Yeah, naturium. Sodium, but <laughs> that's a lie. It's a lot more salt than that. Well, what have we here? Yeah, better not go in here. Where is my box? Ooh, look at this. Instant ramen, world consume. So this is how much the world has consumed for 2021. Certainly, China is really leading the way. And Indonesia, let's see, India. Let's see, first of all, second place looks like Indonesia. The U.S. isn't so bad. I think there's just a lot of college students. Brazil and India. Nigeria and let's see come on Kenya you can do better than that annual consumption Woo. the 
this funky wall of salt. It's really what it is. But mm, I don't think I want to try any really. Toppings. Why is this so special? I don't intend to cut the line. Certainly don't want it. These toppings you can get. And don't forget to disinfect your noodles.